What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Gamers Club. This is Edgar coming at you guys with a bit of a special unboxing. Today I'm going to be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution for the Nintendo Switch. I'm honestly excited about this one. I've been meaning to get this game for a while, but due to time constraints, I hadn't gotten around to it. But now due to quarantine, I finally got it. I'm excited to see what promos I get in here. Excited to see how it is compared to other non-official Konami products such as YGO Pro and Dueling Nexus. But without much else, let's get right into it. Jump in, unbox this, and see what it's like. Alright, and let's get right into it. Legacy the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy the Duelist Link Evolution. Again, I'm really excited about this. And make sure to add us on Facebook, Instagram. And switch to keep up to date with everything we're doing. Really excited about this one. Let's see. Let's crack this open. Let's see what we get. Before we open up the cards, let's check out the game and let's check out the case. Check field menu, display command menu, display phase, card information. Up, down, left, and right. It's time to duel. Believe in the heart of the cards and create your own legacy. Relive moments and duels from the Yu-Gi-Oh! animated series. Build your deck from over 9,000 cards. Challenge duels around the world. Discover endless strategies with new Link Monster cards. So this was the introduction of Link Monsters into the Legacy of the Duelist, I believe. I believe the PS4 version did not have Links. Um, make sure to comment, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So, let's check out the promo cards. So we got Proglio as our first one. Let's crack this open and see what else we get. Let's get a good look at that one. Proglio, two monsters except tokens. During, the, during your main phase, if you control this Link Summon card, you can banish this card and one of your monsters this card points to, then target one Link monster in either graveyard, special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. So you banish this, something it points to, special summon one Link monster out of the grave. Not bad, not bad. Cybers, Link 2, light, points side to side, easy to make, could have its uses. Let's see what our next card is. Microcoder, nice. Quick look at that, quick shot of him. If a Cybers monster you control would be used as link material for a co-talker monster, this card in your hand can also be used as material. If this card is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard as link material for the summon of a co-talker monster, you can either add one Cyanet spell or trap card from your deck to your hand, or if this card on the field was used as material, you can add a one level four Cyrus monster instead. So that would allow you to search for Lady Debug, Sign at Mining. <clears throat> it allows you to use it as link material from your hand. This one's actually pretty good. I'm actually excited about this one a bit. I do run Salamon Great still, even with the new ban list. So, you know, there might be some synergy there with some of these cards, hopefully. I'll have to play test that out. Um, probably not on this hopefully on dueling book or something else probably in with in real life cards um, but it is exciting that some of the a lot of this stuff is cyber so oh and Cynet codec i don't know if these are the only three cards that come with with the game um if any other cards you know let me know in the comments below um i don't know if there's other cards that come with this but i guess microcoder allows you to also search for this Cynet codec Thing is how it is a sign at card. If a code talker monster is special summoned from the extra deck to your side of the f to your field, except during the damage step, you can target one of those monsters, add one cyber monster with the same attribute from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except cyber monsters. Even if this card leaves the field, you cannot add other monsters with that same attribute to your hand by the effect of sign at codec this turn, and you cannot activate. The effects of Cyanic Codec once per chain, or you can only activate once per chain. Let's leave these up really quick. They did come a bit warped, but 
putting them in a sleeve, sticking them in a binder usually gets rid of that. So no big worries there. I'm honestly excited about these cards. These seem pretty good. They have pretty good effects. Um, don't know how great they are now. This game is a little bit older now. These cards may have fallen out of format, but there still should be some combos you can pull off with these cards. This one especially seems really good. This one seems relatively good. Out of the three, I think the most generic one would probably be probably be this one. Would allow you access to Lady Debug and uh, Cynet Mining, which is just good for any generic cyber stack, be it Salomon Gray or Marincess. Yeah, these cards are pretty good. I'm excited. Alright, here we go. Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. So we got a Time Lord here on the cover. It's one of the Time Lords. I forget which one that one is specifically. They all kind of look the same to me, to be honest. Um, if you know his name, you know, comment down below. Um, I don't know his name specifically. I just know he's one of the Time Lords. But let's jump on in. That's me. Create new save data. Yes. This one. Uh, let's go with campaign. Oh, so we can choose our anime to start from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, 5Ds, Zexel, Arc V, or Vrains. Now, as some of you may or may not know, I am a pendulum player. I do love the pendulum mechanic. My favorite summoning mechanic, so let's jump into Arc V and see how that see what how that goes. Swing into action. Noting Arc V histories. This is the story of Yuya Sakaki. Some call him hero, some call him a goofball, and others may call him a heroic goofball. But before the end of his journey, Yuya Sakaki will travel through multiple dimensions and confront countless adversaries to save the world. And little did Yuya know that his epic tale would begin with one small life lesson from his dad. Take your dad's advice, Yuya. Try to laugh when you feel like crying. When things get tough, respond with a smile. It will give you the strength to keep moving forward. It's kind of like a pendulum. If the pendulum swings one way, you know it will swing the other way too. But like in a duel. A duel? The key to dueling is to believe in your deck and yourself. When you're falling behind, you can always make things swing your way again. So don't worry about anything. Just enjoy the ride. Try to remember what I've told you, Yuya. And it may help you someday. Here. Several days later, Yusho was sent to defend his action duel championship title against the number one contender, Sledgehammer. However, not only did Yuya's father failed to show up, he was never seen again. This branded Yusho and the whole Sakaki family as cowards. Three years later, at Skip Boyle's Yusho Dueling School, alright Yuya, it's time to take center stage and show Gong what you're made of. It's showtime ladies and gentlemen, and Gong, how about I kick off this round's entertainment with some carnival carving hippos. Quit goofing around, Yuya. Why do you have to turn everything into a joke, Yuya? There's nothing wrong with giving fans a little laugh. When your daddy was on the field, he, he had all the fans smiling. He made duel taining entertaining. Your duels are usually just embarrassing. Well, if you ask me, my dad's last duel was pretty embarrassing, too. Afternoon, all. I hope I'm not intruding. Who are you? I'm Nico Smiley, dueling manager promoter, currently representing the reigning action duel champion, the Sledgehammer. Not the Sledgehammer. The Sledgehammer is hosting a fan appreciation day at the Leo Institute and he's using one a one on one dueling to challenge Yuya. You're inviting me to duel the Sledgehammer? It's your chance to make up for your father's disappearing act. I will never let Yuya take part in this match. The boys suffered enough since his father's disappeared. It's a real shame because you, if you had agreed, the Leo Corp would have donated the newest augmented reality combat system to your school for no charge. 
as in free. <laughs> You've got a duel. You just said you would never let you eat the little sledgehammer. Uh, well... Yeah, we gotta have Yuya's back. Right, Yuya. He ran off. Just like his old man. Fan Appreciation Day. Three years ago, the world famous dual tainer Yusho Sakaki failed to defend his title against the sledgehammer. Now Sakaki's own son will erase that disgrace. Do you think Yuya will show up? Who knows, but Gong's gut says he will. Is everyone surprised Yuya did show up with Duel, but as a bigger surprise, Yuya was dressed as a clown. Don't tell me you're the son of Yusho. Yep, the one and only. Well, are you ready to get this show on the road? You won't be so insolent once the sledgehammer squashes you. Show you how pendulum cards work. These cards can be used either as monsters or spells. Right, so it's running me through a bit of a tutorial here. So let's pencil to summon. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that animation. Set that in attack. And let's set that in attack also. Pitch and draw. Alright, so now we pass turn, end the phase. Activate Pendulum Dragon's effect to pop itself and search. But what do we want to search? I guess we'll get the Stargazer. Shuffles the deck. Change the turn. I mean, phase one. He's playing battle cards. Oh, that's right. He did play that deck in the show. And that card is not once per turn. That card is pretty busted. What does he say in the show? Let's carve the Ark of Victory. Let's see. Right, this has a normal summon effect, so we'll save this one for the normal summon, but we'll follow its advice and summon out the sword. <laughs> I really love the animation. It's pretty fucking pretty cool. Whoa! <laughs> Actually, pretty awesome. Let's place this one in defense since he has such a low defense. That's on the enemy. Alright.
So now we bring up the menu, we switch over to battle phase, and attack. Again, direct attack. And let's just finish it off. Swing for 16. And we have 13 left, so let's do Declan Akaba. You showed Sakaki vanished three years ago, and his son suddenly using a radical new method of summoning. Prepare the background report on this kid. Any facts may be related to pendulum summoning, no matter how small, should be reported to me immediately. We have our three promo cards here. Microcoder, Cyanic Codec, and Prog Leo. Really happy with these cards. I hope to find some synergy in some of my decks with these specific cards. I know they'll come in handy at some point. And if you'd like to help support the channel, be sure to visit our TCG Player page at gamersclub.tcgplayerpro.com. And of course, a like and subscribe more than help us out as well. So be sure to do that for us. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that we're doing here on our channel, be sure to hit that notification bell as well. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that we're doing here at Gamers Club, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. And join us over on Facebook and Discord as well. There you have it, guys. That was Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution for the Nintendo Switch. And we thank you guys for watching. This has been Eddie Griff Gamers Club, signing out. Peace.